Breaking news, the CDC now recommending a shorter isolation period for those who test positive for COVID. The restriction shortened from 10 days to five days. The CDC says the guidance comes from evidence that people with COVID are most infectious in the two days before and three days after symptoms develop. The decision also driven by a recent surge in COVID-19 cases propelled by the Omicron variant, which although rising in numbers, results in milder illnesses than earlier versions of coronavirus. We are very confident that we have widespread Omicron variant in our state. The CDC also says Omicron could represent nearly 90% of COVID cases in our region. That includes Arkansas, Texas, Oklahoma, and New Mexico. Those new predictions released today as the variant spreads rapidly throughout the state are Jessica Rank joining us in studio this evening. And Jessica, doctors say a lot of those case numbers could be actually breakthrough cases, right? Yeah, Kevin, and the Arkansas Department of Health says it's more common with Omicron than any other variant. Officials preaching now the message to stay healthy and take precautions, even if you're vaccinated. No one talks about the emotions that come with a positive COVID test. It was a result Summer Campbell says she didn't see coming. I had done everything right. This week, Campbell will head back to work after quarantine for 12 days with COVID-19. I was extremely tired and um, very fatigued. I had um, a cough and a really bad headache. She's vaccinated and boosted, a breakthrough case that state health officials say will become more common. Humans don't develop lasting immunity to the coronaviruses. The Omicron variant now sweeping the nation, and Dr. Jennifer Dillahay with the Arkansas Department of Health says it's bringing new challenges. People who've been previously infected with a different variant can still get ill with the Omicron variant. She says it's the number of mutations in the variant that's causing a new wave of illness. Their nose, throat, congested, cough. She says the new variant may even look like allergies, stressing the importance even to those with immunity to stay aware. Stay home and not expose other people and get tested. For Campbell, she says the vaccine still worth it. The vaccine saved me from being hospitalized. Now, doctors are encouraging everyone who is eligible to get that booster shot because it will lessen symptoms if you get Omicron. The Arkansas Department of Health also says wearing a mask, even for those who are vaccinated, will become one of the most important things to do to prevent the spread. Reporting in studio, I'm Jessica Rank for Fox 16 News.